A customer sent us a One Connect board to repair. It's for a JS9000 Samsung TV. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it and see what's going on. Now, right now it's not looking too great. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and see what we're getting into here. Well, as we can clearly tell, uh, we've got quite a bit of damage here. Got a couple traces, some that go directly to these caps. This is also going to need to be taken care of. Now let's see how bad the damage is once we remove this old solder that's on here. Go ahead and apply some new solder to this to make our job a little bit easier. I don't know what the heck that is. Probably some oil dust. Go ahead and clean this up and see what we're looking at. That doesn't look too bad. You can definitely salvage those capacitor lines. There's a little nub on each of them, so we should be able to use the remnants to attach the new wire. Same thing goes for those traces on the right hand side. Let's see if this pad here and here connects to this, which it, it does look like it's supposed to. Go ahead and get ourselves in beep mode. Yeah. So that's also the same spot. So we can hook up three traces at the end. All right, before we progress on to that, let's go ahead and see what the damage is to the port. That doesn't look too bad. Looks like a little bit of corrosion there. Now let me get my gloves on before we progress and with more flux. Well, let's go ahead and remove these pads that are stuck on here. Don't really like how these are really wiggly. Oh, it's not too bad. And this one may not come off as easily. We're going to want to take care of the remnants on this. These don't look too bent, so I think they're salvageable. We won't know until we get this port back on. I will go ahead and prep our pads with this tool. We'll go ahead and do a little bit of cleaning. Let's go ahead and remove the excess solder that's on there. Trace is a little damaged right there. That's why it's not really going over it as smooth as I would like. All right, let's see how we're gonna align this thing. This thing is busted off in this weird way. So hopefully this thing doesn't move while I'm tacking on this corner here. And it did. And let's get this other side here, which will be a little bit more difficult. This will start by getting some solder on these pins. And then we'll start rebuilding some of these traces, but we can take care of the, the ones on the left for now, since those all kind of go to the same spot. Perfect. I guess we'll go ahead and add some flux out of this tube that is just really running low. And we have to really press down on this thing if you want to get something out of it. I think it's finally over. One hour later. Yeah, it's all fine. I'm just loading this all up with solder for now. And we'll come back and clean it. Probably also going to change out the tip here in a minute. Uh, this side does look fine. That's okay. All right, time to change out the tip. Now if I was needing some more solder, I would just get some from here. Now we can progress to cleaning the rest of this off. Switch back to the small tip here. And obviously those need to be connected. That one's good. Sounds good, good. All right, now we let the rebuilding commence, which is gonna be the, the toughest part of this whole process. We're gonna use some fine wire to repair the traces. Maybe this wire is a little too fine. Now let's check our continuity on that line, also known as the B. All right, this wire is so small. 
there. It's looking good so far. I'll make sure this isn't a bridge right here. And it's not. Check our continuity on everything before we progress. And this guy. Also good. Let's check our continuity here. Yep, we're good. And our previous line. Also good. And these are not shorted. You know, it's just flux or something in there. Okay. Now let's check our continuity on this guy. Yeah, that always happens when you switch to a new tube. Now just two more traces and then it's finally over. Ended up being pretty tough. All right. All right, I think we finally got it. That spent flux does make it a little bit more difficult to work, but I don't want to clean it right now because we're almost done and I want to save the cleaning for last. Oh, first try. Look at that. Yay. All right, we were on the last one here. It's hanging out a little far, but it is connected. And that right there. Let's give this a little clean and then perform our continuity check at the very end. Well, that's looking pretty good. All right, one final continuity test, and I think we're good to call this one, barring some unforeseen issue, of course. Well, also want to make sure, oh, I, was, yeah, I kind of thought that was going to happen. Yeah, so we have one leg to take care of, but let's finish up this continuity test first. And it looks like this one is good again. Go ahead and remove the access on this one. I was going to tuck it in, but we'll just remove it. All right, let's do the final continuity on that one that dislodged itself. And I guess just for the heck of it. All right, looks like we're all good to go. I think I'll coat those wires just to be on the safe side. Just going to use a little bit of the solder masking oil. And that was a little too much, but that'll do. Go ahead and coat a little bit around here. Let's go ahead and use the UV light. Just might need two rounds. All right, and round two. All right, that's looking pretty good. I just realized that we'll want to add a little bit of bracing to the outer part of this one connect port. So I'm going to change the tip. So we definitely don't want this thing coming back and I do want it to be structurally sound. Alright, that is much better. I'd say we're ready to take this over to testing. Alright, the moment of truth. All right, TV's asking for the one connect box. Go ahead and get this in HDMI port one. And looks like we've restored functionality to this one connect box. If you enjoyed this video or if you like the content that we've provided for you, please remember to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.